Hey guys, what's up? This is Shivani from eGadgets for you, and in this video, I will show you how to format your laptop and also do a clean installation of a Windows 10 that by default comes within your laptop with a valid license and a valid key. So this particular video will help you actually if your laptop is running slow or you are thinking to format your laptop in order to like make it a new one or to like pass it to any of one of your family members. So you can actually follow these particular steps in this particular video and this will not actually void the Windows 10 license that comes pre-built or in pre-installed in, uh, in your laptop. So without further ado, let's get to it and let's find out how to do this particular step. So guys, now, now as you can see, I've actually set up the camera angle to this particular uh, angle over here because it's the best angle that I can show you because I cannot screen record the entire thing as the thing will get formatted. Now before starting anything else, you will see that this particular PC has actually has two partitions, C and D. The total uh, disk available space is 1 TB, it's divided into two partitions over here. What I'll do is that I'll remove this particular partition and make it into one. Before doing anything else, it's very, very, very much important that you back up all your important files, all your important data in an external hard drive like I've done over here or a pen drive. I guess external hard drive will serve you uh, much good actually in this particular scenario because we're talking about a lot of data and a lot of spaces. Anyways, um, so before starting anything else, what I'll do is that I'll format the D drive over here. Okay, now the format is completed over here. If we close this and go to the D drive, you will see that it's empty. Now before anything else, I'll go to the disk partition manager, uh, create and format hard disk, disk partition manager or you create uh, like uh, type disk partition you see this particular option comes that is create and format hard disk partitions select that particular option over here you will see that c and the d drives are present over here now what i want to make sure is that make into one uh, full thing over here so i'll just right click on the d drive and i will see uh, select delete volume it will uh, ask you that are you sure do you want to continue yes i am uh, sure and once i delete the volume you see that it actually changes to an unallocated volume now since i want to increase the c drive space to that what i'll do is that i'll go to the c drive right click on that and over here you will find an option that says extend volume so what i'll do is that let me just uh, maximize the screen yeah so over here you will find that it says uh, extend volume so you select on that uh, the wizard uh, screen appears select next over here and you see that the most available spaces of the D drive that was there over here, you will see that that particular space is depicted over here. Now, uh, I want to uh, ensure that the entire D drive space is allocated or extended to the C drive. So yeah, I will select as it is, what it is over there and select next and click finish. And you see that it turns, the C drive turns into 934 gigs. So that is one TB of files. Now if I again go to my PC, you will see there is no D drive, but rather there is a C drive, one partition over here. Now the entire process starts. Once I am okay with this, or maybe in your PC, you don't need to do this type of stuff. You need to put two drives only, and you just need to format the C drive and go on uh, as it is. So you can go ahead from now onwards. But if not, you can follow the steps that I have done till now. And please, again, I'm saying make sure that you back up all your important data and files. Okay, now let's get started. Now, guys, in Windows 10, what you need to do is that on the search bar over here, the bottom left corner, you just write reset this PC. You see, once you select reset this PC, this particular option appears under system settings. Click on that particular option. This screen appears and over here the first option that says reset this pc get started if your pc isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall windows we will go through the entire process like that select get started and here very importantly if i can zoom in over here you will see that it says choose an options keep my files or remove everything now uh, remove everything means is remove all of your personal files apps and settings that you have installed separately in this particular pc that is my main motto over here because i don't want to do uh, like uh, what to say a repair installation of the windows 10 and stuff like that i want to remove everything all my personal files apps and settings because i have backed up all my personal files uh, so i'll select remove everything but 
here it's misleading it says this won't take long but it will take long now uh, over here you will see that it a uh, 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 dialog pops up that says additional settings because it says just remove your files quicker but less secure so i'll just uh, remove the files and all i'll click on next again it says this won't take long but again it's misleading because yeah this will take long okay the next screen comes over here it says resetting will remove all the personal files if i can zoom in more yes uh, it says uh, it's re it will remove all the personal files and user account on this PC, remove any changes made to the settings, remove any apps and promotions, promote programs that didn't come with the PC. This is important because it does mean that it will not violate or uh, null and void the Windows 10 original uh, installation files that is actually pre-existing in this particular PC. So yes, I want to reset. So I'll click on reset. Again, it says preparing to reset this PC, it will restart automatically. One person reset has been done. Once it restarts, I'll again come back again because you just need to sit back and relax and let the stuff do on its own. So yes, as you can see that it has started. Uh, it's resetting the PC again from start. But that particular screen, trust me, it took exactly 35 minutes. Yes, guys, it took 35 minutes to reset over there. And after that, the PC has started, restarted actually over here. And again, it's uh, showing if you can see over here, it says resetting this PC, 1% is done. So again, uh, when some changes or some alterations appears over here, I'll again come back again. For now, I am pausing the video over here. Okay, now as you can see that the resetting the PC has come to 99%. Mind you, after the restart, it took 35 long minutes to reset the PC for the second time in this screen. So you have no other option but to only sit down and wait until it completes fully. Okay, now the setup, uh, reset setup has actually completed. And once again, it restarted and the Acer logo appears. So now again, you have to wait over here because the screen may go blank or black. But you will see that over here, the loading sign is actually appearing over here. If you follow minutely, let me just zoom in again. Uh, yes, if you can see that yeah, the loading screen appears. So you have nothing to do but just wait. Okay, now the Windows installation screen appears. It says installing Windows 0%. Do not turn off your PC. This will take a while and your PC will restart several times. So as depicts over here, you just need to wait. Okay, now as you can see that after the installation has been done, this is actually the screen you are familiar with for the Windows 10 installation. So now you just need to select your country, go ahead, just a moment. And for the keyboard layout, I prefer the US keyboard. So yes, it will be US layout of the keyboard. I don't want to add a second uh, keyboard layout. Let's connect you to a network. Yes, this is my uh, Wi-Fi network. Don't get frightened because ha ha ha. Okay, the Wi-Fi is connected right now. So I'll click on next and just a moment. Now we have some important setup to do and yes, this is very, very important. I guess by now you're quite familiar, but still for the sake of the video, I'll show you what. Okay, in the next screen, as it says that yes, we will set up the windows. This is a license agreement. End of the day, you have to accept it. You can go ahead and like, like actually go through this, but haha, <laughs> have to accept it. Okay, let's add your account. Now, this is a Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you need to create it from here because this is very much important since you have an original version of your Windows 10 running over there. And also with some of the laptops, like precisely this particular laptop has a Windows Office 2016 associated with this Microsoft account. So yes, you have to create an account or if you have an existing account, just log into that. I'll do that right now. Okay, this particular screen is actually to set up the fingerprint because this particular laptop has a fingerprint sensor. So let me like show you over here. If I zoom in over here, yes, that is a fingerprint sensor, the trackpad that you can see. So yes, I am setting it up for the moment and I will be back once this particular setup has been done. Once the fingerprint has been set up, now you see that it asks for a pin because yeah, maybe the sensor does not work or you may have a cut on your finger. So this setting up your pin is very, very important. I'll go ahead and set up the pin over here as well. Now you see this particular screen that says Android connected Android phones and stuff like that. You can do it end of the day, but uh, since we do not use this particular laptop outside our house, so I don't uh, need it. Do it later. And back up your files with OneDrive. You get some uh, files to save with OneDrive and all. Personally, I don't need it. So uh, only save files to this PC will do just good for me. Just a moment, yeah, we are actually waiting. Okay, this is the most important thing over here. It says make the make of your uh, 
365 with a free Microsoft 365 trial. If your laptop or you have a product key, you can go ahead and give it over. Yeah, I do have a product key for this particular thing because this particular laptop came with one. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just give it uh, right now. Uh, so I'll just pause the video for the moment. Okay, now this is the most important screen. It's a privacy settings because I don't want Microsoft to track me any whatsoever way possible. I will deselect each and every options over here. I don't need any privacy setting to be on. So yes, I accept by actually clicking everything off. And yes, uh, actually this laptop will be used by my wife. So I have set it up using her ID and her name. So yes, uh, everything uh, looks it over here. I'll click on next. And no, never, never, no information. Uh, I don't want any, any, any information. I don't want, I said, to share my contact details and stuff like that. Uh, so yes, next. Ah, Cortona. I don't love it. I hate Cortona. Almost done now. We just need to get a few things done. Blah, blah, blah. Just a moment. Okay. Hi. That particular screen of Windows 10 installations. We are getting everything ready for you. Of course you are. This might take several minutes, so haha, <laughs> grab a popcorn. Okay, the installation has been done. Welcome to the new Microsoft Edge. Your privacy is proper. Let's set up your new tab page. Uh, confirm. Uh, sync browser data across. No, 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 don't sync anything. I'll do everything myself. Nothing. No experiences to share with you, Microsoft. Okay, so this is the first screen of the, after the setup has been done. So uh, firstly, what I'll do is that I will go to personalize over here. And the most important thing to do uh, currently is that uh, change the wallpaper because that particular wallpaper I didn't like. Anyways, uh, we will get to everything, uh, all the things later on. First, if you go to the display settings here, you will find that yes, one zero eight zero P. Uh, so yes, uh, full HD has been detected over here. Okay, now the most important thing that you need to do over here particularly is that you have to type uh, Windows update. Click on that. Check for updates because see this is very very important. There will be a lot of updates happening and please give time. Please set all the updates correctly over here and let all the updates run successfully over here. So yeah, this is it. You have actually successfully formatted and reinstalled your Windows machine with a clean installation and you have not violated the validity of the Windows 10 as well. Hope so this video was helpful. If you have liked it, consider liking and sharing with your friends and families. Please stay subscribed and turn on the notification bells selecting the all icon because a lot and lot of tech updates are coming to this particular channel very very soon. That will be it guys for this particular video. Bye for now.